With MP3 players and computer downloads making it easier to get music at the click of a button, the music store is becoming a thing of the past. A lifelong passion for music and a dedication to the community has helped Vintage Vinyl and its owners turn their neighborhood record store into a venerated institution. Welcome to Record Store Day, a celebration of the music and unique culture of record stores. This is Vintage Vinyl. It is one of several hundred independently owned music stores left across the country. It's celebrating the third annual Record Store Day event with live music, cupcakes, and of course, vinyl. When entire albums can be downloaded in a matter of minutes from the comfort of home, the record store has become something of a rarity. But over the past three decades, Vintage Vinyl has become both a neighborhood landmark and an international vinyl institution. We are music educators. <laughs> Owners Lou Prince and Tom Papa Ray first met as students at Webster University. And in the late 70s, we both decided that we wished to leave where we were living, return to St. Louis, and open up a store since um, we both had fond memories of St. Louis as a music town. The pair set up shop in Soulard Farmer's Market, armed not with crates of produce, but stacks of records. We basically sold all the records at between two and three bucks, and the next thing you know, we had money to buy more records. And by the time we finished at Soulard, we had two boots at the Farmer's Market and a couple thousand records and figured the weather was getting cold, we needed a record store. The Delmar Loop was the perfect fit for their growing record collection. It's always been by far the most heterogeneous neighborhood in town and a place where um, something that was basically cultural felt safe. For someone like me who grew up in the county, this was sort of a mecca to come in to the Loop and to go to the record store and just sort of be overwhelmed. I probably started buying my music at places like, you know, department stores, and so to come to a real record store was, was kind of a real mind-opening experience. You know, the cornerstone of the music scene in any city is, is, is the record store. When Tom and I were growing up, you could, you could spend hours in a record store reading the backs of record albums, which had tons and tons of information. People have just forgotten because their lives are so busy and music is so conveniently gotten that there are joys to actually having something to hold in your hand. You can't download vinyl. You can't download a 12-inch. Um, you can download the music, but it's a, a weird way of owning it. If you could get, which I'm sure you can, White Christmas by Clyde McFadder and the Drifters <laughs> on a download, it's not going to sound as good as this. Over the years, this neighborhood record shop has become an important resource for the music community of the city. Music is uh, often very specific to a particular neighborhood. And when it comes to St. Louis, we are extremely respectful of that. Tom and Lou have been doing this for long enough to know what works for them. A great example is how they use their, their windows behind us. A lot of times I've seen they'll give it over to a, a, a local band that just put their first CD out and they'll give them the whole window space to put posters up and promote their record. That's, I think, as big a testament as you can get to, to a store that cares about the local community and that really isn't interested in, in what uh, the big record labels want them to push. There's not somebody in New York or in L.A. buying what he thinks is going to sell in St. Louis due to something he's read. You know, we are a neighborhood store. We very, very much try to be a part of the collective music soundtrack of our city. We do 130 free live shows a year here, and one of them can be your band. A lot of local musicians cannot actually get their stuff into the big box stores, so they, a lot of times they rely on a vintage vinyl just to get their music played, just to get it out there. We try and nurture local music. If you've got the guts to make a CD, we'll put it in our store, period. But vintage vinyl doesn't just support local musicians by selling their music. Almost entirely our staff are um, performing musicians, performing DJs. This is one of the few jobs in the world where you can walk in and say, my band's going to spend three weeks in the southeast. We've got gigs on like 13 coffee houses. Can I get the time off? And we just cover for you. you. You know, and you keep your health insurance, and you keep your vacation pay, and you keep all of that. 
It is a repository for uh, for musicians. You know, it's a record stores understand uh, musicians' needs. <laughs> What we love about the place is it's a creative environment. Our employees come up with ideas that are really about, about keeping, keeping the feel here right. It's like a portal when you walk through those doors into a completely other part of, of life in this universe that's fantastic and arty and creative and uh, just filled with the things that, that make this life so great. Great art, great music. You can come in. There's these racks of music to go through that you can talk to people, real people, employees, other music fans. Basically, what you can get here that you can't get on the internet is interaction with the fabulous staff of Vintage Vinyl, which knows a ton about every form of music. They know uh, what I like and they know how to point me in a certain direction. And again, there's enthusiasm and their love for, for independent music and all kinds of music is something that is infectious and that I think a lot of customers will, will always come back to a store like that for those reasons. You never know what you're going to come across in Vintage Vinyl. So thank all of you very much. Have a wonderful Record Store Day and come in and see us. Over the past three years, Record Store Day has quickly become an international event. But at its heart, it's still a way to honor places like Vintage Vinyl, where music can be found not at the click of a mouse, but at the flick of a wrist. This is our 31st year. And I get guys who walk in and say, you turned me on to this music when I was 12, and now I make a living at it. And that's what being the neighborhood record store is. That's what it means to us. They had a vision, and they, they turned a couple of crates and a tent into all this. Record store day and the store and all of this is about having fun. You know, I, I keep telling people the best part of this job is I haven't had a real job for 31 years. <laughs> I get to come here every day and do this. My own retirement plan is to drop dead on the floor of this store while talking to somebody about music.